does, doesn't it? A lot of graduates are all, they're wondering what's coming up next for them. That's right, that's the big question. Mm -hmm. So Jenny Blake, author of Life After College, has been there and done that, <laughs> like both of us. Yeah. But she has wrote a new book, and she's got tips on money matters for all of those new situations that a grad will face in the real world. A book that I wish we had, oh, no. that we had read, because, you know, that's the big question. These, you know, they're getting ready to graduate in a matter of days, yeah. right. and the question is, what is next? What do they do? What's the first thing they need to do financially? First thing they need to do, I call it the State of the Union assessment. It's so important to understand what their financial picture is. Do they have student loans? If so, what are their monthly payments? How much money will they have coming in? And then what are their expenses? What are their core bills? The rent they might need to pay? Hopefully they don't have credit card debt, but if they do, to have, start making a plan to pay it off. And speaking of a plan, here you suggest that the kids sign up for a money management tool online. That helps them to monitor their spending and track everything. Right? Yes, absolutely. I say ignorance is not a financial management <laughs> strategy. It's so important to know what's going on. I recommend Mint.com, it's free. It'll show fun little pie charts of your spending and then you can set goals, set budgets, and it'll send weekly updates with your current financial picture. Okay, Mint.com? That's a great yeah, yeah, makes it really yeah. easy. And the, the next tip I really like, because I really think this can actually be used for people of all ages, especially grads, but even a, when, you know, when you get a little bit older, and that's knowing the difference in salary ranges between you and your friends. Because you go to an expensive dinner, <laughs> right. if your friend makes three times as much as you, yeah. and, but you right. can't pay the bill, you know, it's just not a good it's idea. It's really stressful and it can cause a lot of tension it's everyone graduates when they graduate they have such different jobs some go into investment banking some may be working for teach for america and it can be really stressful if a group of friends is trying to go out to dinner and the bill suddenly comes to five hundred dollars mm -hmm. what's the teacher supposed to do right. <laughs> so it's good to have an understanding going in and to just be mindful of that mm -hmm. and i think friends are understanding don't you think oh, if yeah if you say Honestly. you know i would like to go somewhere maybe a little less expensive right i right. think that would be okay i think it's better than going someplace and having them everyone assume that someone else is going Right. Pay mm -hmm. for the meal. And yeah. it's fine to be clear up front. Money's a little tight right now. I'm going to split my bill separately. Hope that's okay. Right.